Uh, one of, this is that cortisol cycle that John referred to um, uh, earlier about it uh, uh, increases uh, in the evening briefly and then toward bedtime unless you, unless you have your computer on and you're watching TV or you're, you're making the next day's dinner under bright lights in the kitchen. The whole sleep system is very light sensitive and is activated by that. Sleep deprivation in our culture is a cause of a great deal of uh, stress and ultimately uh, psychopathology. If we, go, if we go back for a moment to the, the thing about um, what happens to the, to the hippocampus, this vital little seahorse in the, in the, in the temporal lobe, under, the, under the, the onslaught of ongoing high levels of cortisol, the hippocampus starts to shrink. Um, again and again, one of, the, one of the clinical findings, the biological findings with depression is a, is a smaller hippocampus. And that one of the effects in, in Siegel's study, um, brain imaging study, of successful CBT, CBT treatment with uh, depressed folks is increased activity in the, in, the, in the hippocampus. But this whole thing is in the context of how much stress is the person, what's their life like? Uh, it's not just about them having a diagnosis of, uh, of major depression and having faulty core beliefs or uh, having, uh, you know, an unresolved negative Oedipal um, thing with their, with their father. Uh, it's, it's also about, about who they are and how they're living.